Uh, anything? Got a lot of pick that I can use. Awesome. <gasps> we do have it. Okay. So that means that this is probably one of the ones. No, get up there. I hate this stupid invisible wall stuff. It's really weird. So there's a special calendar you have to follow. I forget which one it is. Uh, come on, there we go. But pretty much, if you were to find this beam of light in any of the four locations as said in the journal, uh, you will be able to find a necromancer outside. I believe. I don't really know if you actually have to see the process happen. Oh, never mind. Ooh, that hurt. No. That's not good. Mm, can you stop punching me? What the? Mm. Take that. There you go. So pretty much in order to do this, uh, what you can do is you can watch this guy do the sort of thing. I found evidence of the creating black soldiers the, the, as well as the other altos throughout Cyrodiil. You need to get the information back to him. So pretty much in order to do it, you need to put something in here, uh, the grand soul gem uh, with no soul in it. And what you need is something with, of course, I don't have a spell here. I kind of hope that he might have had a scroll to sort of show it off but if you use a soul trap spell on this said altar with this soul gem it will change it into of course a black soul gem and you can actually just watch the person do it for let's say over here or something like that watch him do it and then you'll get the same quest pop up uh let me go pull that up real quick i don't remember the message to an extent i did it once and i used it, the armor to do it There we go, I've pulled it up. Okay, let's see if I can find that message real quick. I've witnessed uh, necromancers creating black soul gems at the Dark Fissure Cave. I need to get this information to Ramanus Polis. This part of the quest objective happens if the player sees black soul gems being created or makes them himself. So if you create it, or of course, if you see this guy, of course, over here, uh, make it, you're good to go. You'll be able to actually do it. I kind of wish, though, that this quest at least told you what times of the, of the year it shows, unless it has a better way of explaining how that works. Uh, the Shade of the Revenant actually occurs every eight days. Specifically, it occurs on the 1st, 9th, 12th, 25th, 33rd, etc. days of the game using the Days Past statistic on your character's statistics journal page, provided that you have not spent a day in jail. See here for more details kind of thing. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, no, I'm in the wrong page. That's right. Ah, it's in this one. Okay. So we need days past. We have 17. And that is indeed one of them. That is the third time. So day one, if you're able to sort of speed run through, you'll be able to find it. Or speed run, get over here, you'll be able to do it. Uh, the other one, of course, is if you're able to still speed run, but it takes eight days to get over here. There you go. 
So that's kind of interesting. Yay. I thought it was on certain days, but I guess I was wrong. But at least the, the way that, like... I think back in the old days, or at least back in when I was still first playing this, I think I was watching a video of how to actually get black soul gems, and that's what it said was, like, has to be, like, on certain days, like, 12th of Hearthfire or whatever, and then it was like, oh, yeah, that's how you get it. Gotta wait for these days to happen. It's really weird. Uh, yes, I have their information right in my hands. Okay. Uh, the difference between gra uh, Grand Soul Gems and Black Soul Gems is that Black Soul Gems are just like Grand Soul Gems, except for they can also be used to trap human souls as well. That's the only difference. Grand cannot do it, for whatever reason. Uh, advancement. kind of funny because if you kind of get rid of or if you rearrange my letters uh, and get rid of the thus and put a K in there I could be called the dark magician funny task oh is this the one I'm thinking of I think it is when do I learn that one spell, that one crazy spell that is really dumb because it usually just makes it very difficult for you to cast it? Anyway, let's continue onward. Hello, Traven. It is high time that we met face to face, don't you think? I guess. I don't know. Has told me good things about you. You have advanced quickly and show great promise. I now intend to put your talents to a more direct test. Cool. You have a difficult task which you can perhaps assist you. Okay. Uh, what is the task, of course? Are you prepared to begin? <laughs> no. Very good. <laughs> Let me explain what is at stake. The Council of Mages has been aware of the increased necromancer activity in Cyrodiil for some time. It had been our position to sit back and watch what unfolded, but that time has clearly passed. Oh, we cannot okay. tolerate these attacks on the guild. Most of our information on the necromancers has come from an informant inside the cult itself. Guild member who offered to infiltrate their ranks. Okay, who is that? You have someone on the inside? Yes, and we have for quite some time. Though the information he has provided is limited, it has given us a sense of their scope and power. The council was initially reluctant to believe the information was reliable, but with recent events, they have little hope of discovery. I fear that our informant is in danger, and that is why I have called you. Well, we have two armor uses, so we can actually go rescue him with the armor. Uh, who is the informant, of course? Lucianus Alliance. He is not a council member, but has long served the guild here at the Arcane University. Well, that's good to know. Aware of the growing interest in the guild after the ban on necromancy was put into place, he offered to help the council track the cult down. With my blessing, he infiltrated the group and has fed us information for quite some time, until recently. I have not heard from him. I fear for his safety. As you would. Okay. Uh, go on. The lack of reports from Lucianus has disturbed the council, and they are now concerned about the legitimacy of his information. What? Okay. A group of battle mages were dispatched to Lucianus's last known location with the intent of bringing him in for questioning. When did that just... I argued against it, but eventually agreed to maintain order in the council. I regret that decision, and that is why I wish to send you there. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I fear the battle mages may mistreat Lucianus if they do not mistake him for one of the many necromancers no doubt present in the room. I wish for you to find Lucianus and ensure his safe return to the Arcane University. I do not want Ow. anything to go wrong. Mm -hmm, okay. Please hurry. The battle mages will arrive. 
with their food if they have not already, and time is of the essence. Okay. If for any reason they are unsuccessful, Lucianus's life will be in forfeit. You must make sure he is safe. Okay. Go now, and bring word to me as soon as he has been escorted to safety. Uh, where do I need to go? Lucianus last reported being sent to the ruins of Nenyon Quill, south of the Imperial City. That is where the battle mage is west. South of the White Rose River, nearly halfway to the border of Elkwood. That's still not out. I'm afraid I know nothing more about the location, or what you may expect to find once you arrive. Very well. Know that I would not ask such a thing of you if I did not see it to be urgent, or that it was beyond your capability. Okay. Await your return. Okay. Nenyon Quill awaits you. Return with Mucianus as quickly as possible, so I may settle the council with you. Okay. Okay. Mucianus is in danger. Karania. You're making Tormina overwork. And annoying her. Probably gonna be annoying me very soon. Alright, let's go. Uh we're Oh yeah, that's right. The weird thing is that, okay, so they say, like, Ninion Twill is, like, you know, south of the Imperial City, you know, close to the Ellsbury border. Just say, like, it's almost right next to In of the Ill Omen, close to Breville. Like, it's right there. And now we must let the darkness take hold. Alright. Let's go through it. I'm tired of this. I just want to go kill the things. And because we have the armor, we'll be able to kill them almost, like, instantaneously. So let's do it. Still haven't done the thing yet, but that's fine. I'll do that, uh, tonight, pretty much. I'll do the, the lucky old lady statue thing, because that's gonna help us. Especially if we decide to do the Dark Brotherhood, I believe, since that changes the statue, at least I think at some point. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember quite when, but it's fine. Hello there, buddy. Who are you? You? What are you doing here? Uh, I live here. <laughs> Who are you? Fitzrocky, battle mage, sent by the council to find this traitor. What are you talking about? He must have told them we were coming. We've got to get our hands on him before he tells them anything else. He's a spy on our side. Like you anyway. I was sent here by the council. Has the council gone mad sending you here alone? No, you're here. There's no time. The others, they were waiting for us. They knew we were coming. Of course they I'm did. The only one left. The necromancers retreated further in, but we've got to follow them. There's no time to waste. Sure there, buddy. No. There you go. There's no way you're dead. I've given you the essence of life. It shall be difficult for the opponent to kill you now. Yeah, you're supposed to die though. That's the whole thing about this area. Okay. Yeah, he's supposed to die. Uh, he's supposed to walk into that giant slab thing and then die. But I always find it funny, though, how you can literally keep him alive very, very carefully if you're really good at uh, certain magic and are able to make your own, that you can actually make it so that though, he actually survives. I think you can maybe move him over there? Let's see. No, he tries to move back into place. I think I'm going to need to sort of do a little cheating thing here. No, I'm not. Oh, come over here, buddy. I went a little too far. I didn't realize I was on the slab. I'm just going to let him die. God, he's a he's a strong boy. Look at that. A pleasure to speak with you. Uh, sure, rumors. I don't know what Archmage Trace has against Necrons, but the first thing he did after taking over the Mage's Tomb was to ban its practice. 
have you seen in the necromancers they killed your brother in it you're like i don't understand why he banned them It's like, Traven's just on a power trip or something. Hi, uh, can you deal with the necromancers down there? I commend you to do it. <laughs> uh, they'll be here any second now. Uh, you may want to do your thing. God, that the AI likes to just distract themselves upon the summons and rather than anything else. Of course they do. Anyway, let's go. Yep. Hello, skeleton. Bye, skeleton. There's a chest here I need to loot. Potion of healing. Nice. Sorcery. Nice. Nope. Don't need that. We need... I'm sure we can use this. It's not the one I wanted to use, but it's fine. 